Hi, my name is Alan Jordan. Hi, I'm Leah. And welcome to the Christmas special of the Roundtable. For our first segment. I'm Mariah. <laughs> Hi, Mariah. Do you know anything about Rudolph? No, I don't. But I actually asked a couple of kids who also don't know. We take that to you in the first segment. I'm Nyasha Martin, and today I'm asking Stanford High students if they know the actual story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I hope you enjoy. I'm here with Tafaro. Can you tell me the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> I said, tell me the story, not sing the song. What's the story? You got a red nose? Yeah, I could say that. Okay, tell me the story of Rudolph. I'm here with Julian. Can you tell me the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Um, he was a, a reindeer that was getting like bullied and made fun of for the under other reindeers uh, because um, he had a red nose and then uh, it was like a snowy night or something like that and he was the only reindeer that could lead because of his nose and like all the other reindeers became, became friends with him after that. Thank you. I'm here with Daphne Zariel. Can you guys sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. One, two, three. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a really shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it glows. That's it? To be continued? Yes, to be continued. Um, all of the other reindeer move. used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. games. That's it? That's beautiful. Okay. For our next segment, Jasmine Woodfield interviews Stanford High teachers on a walk-in and walk-out for the sixth class adjustment. Teachers from Stanford Public Schools District organized a walk-out in protest of getting a sixth class with no pay. This is because of a national teacher shortage that is particularly prominent in Stanford with numerous vacancies across the district. With that in mind, the union organized a Teach the Contract Day, where they walked into the building together, holding signs to show that they are stronger together. Hi, I'm Jasmine Whitfield, Arts Editor of the Roundtable, and I'm here with... Mr. Gladstone. Mr. Gladstone, why are you here? I'm here because teachers here in Stanford are being asked to teach us an extra class for no extra pay, um, and we're already really overloaded. Um, and it's a real big change to our everyday work, um, you know, schedule and our workload. And it's really an unfair burden that they put on teachers. Um, we're already extremely overworked and we already have um, some of us already 130, 140 students. This would add another 30 students onto our workload for no additional pay and really, you um, it's an incredibly difficult thing to put on teachers and makes it very hard to bring in new teachers into the district. It does a lot of damage to our school district. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Jasmine Redfield here with... John Ringel. Why are you here? Oh, you know, supporting the cause. I don't think um, we should... Yeah, I don't think it'd be good overall if we had to do more work for less money. Why don't you want a sixth class? Because I think it'll just stretch us even thinner. I think the answer is to fund it better so we can hire the number of teachers we need to keep doing the same level of work that we have been doing, which is already stretched thin as it is. Okay, thank you. I'm here with... Jessica Browner. Why are you here? Uh, I'm here because teachers have a really hard job and we put in a lot of time outside of the classroom working. And asking teachers to take on another teaching period is untenable. It's not even just about work-life balance. It's just about getting everything done during work. Um, the amount of time spent outside of the classroom, grading, prepping, attending meetings, writing reports, is, is the invisible part of teaching that people don't see, and it's incredibly time-consuming and exhausting. Thank you. I'm here with... Mr. Lopez. Why are you here? Um, because for a teacher like me who is the fourth to last hire in their department, if we have six out of eight classes, that can mean people like me actually get fired or, or let go because there aren't enough classes to kind of go around. And so you're basically gonna lose some good teachers. I think I'm a good teacher, but thank you. So that's why I'm here because honestly, I mean, we do a lot during the day um, from helping kids with um, college essays to tutoring to all the other, not tutoring, but extra help, all of that other kind of stuff. I mean, to lose teachers at this time when we have a teacher shortage, 
it's kind of crazy. So for me, one, I don't want to lose my job because I love what I do. And two, it's just not fair to you guys to lose good teachers, especially now. I'm going to have to have time for my labs and we're cleaning up afterwards. Remember Angela Corella? If they want to give us a sixth class, pay us. <laughs> Disclaimer to all the parents that are watching right now, we're going to be talking about Santa Claus and yeah. So, for our, <laughs> for our next segment, Icy Keiko and Ella Salvador interview Stanford High students. Are they going to tell their kids about Santa Claus? Santa is real. Exactly. <laughs> so why would you say that me telling my kids he's not real? I agree. I love Santa. I do too. And he's real. He's coming to my house. Next week, because I was a good boy, so. Hi, I'm here with Mrs. Fodeman. Are you going to let your kids believe in Santa Claus? Of course. Can you tell me why? It's the magic of the season. If you don't believe, you don't receive. Thank you. You heard it here first. <laughs> no. Hi, I'm here with Miss Dastoli. Are you going to let your kids believe in Santa? Yes, my parents had us believe in Santa, and it was fun as a kid, so I want to do that for my children, too. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with uh, Mr. Lewis. Are you going to let your kids believe in Santa Claus? Of course I am. Why? Um, because it's a fun thing for them to do and it keeps them sometimes a little bit honest and uh, I just remember it when I was a kid and, and how much I enjoyed it so I just want my kid to be able to enjoy it as well. Thank you. Are you going to let your kids believe in Santa? Absolutely not. Why? I'm gonna have to hold the mic for this one. I have a very strong opinion on this. Number one, my children do not need Santa Claus to celebrate on Christmas. There's something way better to celebrate. Number two, I'm not gonna start lying to my children. Listen, to, just think about it like this. What is the worst, the worst thing a child can do, right? It's not that they make a mistake. It's not that they stole a cookie. It's when they lie about it. So I'm gonna tell them, hey, uh, lying is terrible, and you know why? Because um, there's an elf on the shelf that's going to report to Santa Claus. That's <laughs> stupid. I'm not going to lie to my children because I have integrity. And I have many more reasons beyond this, but I don't want to take up the entire uh, nightly news video, so I'll pass this back to Ella. Thank you, Ella. I had a lot of fun growing up with Santa Claus, so... Reason number three. <laughs> my children will have just as much fun opening their presents knowing that daddy paid for them and not Santa Claus. Next. I'm here with JJ DeGray. Ashley. Q. Okay, <laughs> are you guys going to tell your kids that if Santa's real or not, like, are you going to have them believe in it? Yeah, to a limit. Until these two. Yeah, we are. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> why? Oh, uh, why not? I mean, Santa, Santa, I guess. I don't know who Santa is. I never had a Santa. Aww. Reality is reality. I brought the toys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. To sports for Christina and Maddie. I'm Maddie. And I'm Christina. And, and this, this is This Week in Black, Black Night Sports. Both girls and boys basketball were off to strong starts after winning their season openers last week. Unfortunately, girls basketball played Immaculate away on Monday, losing to them 53-60. to Girls hockey faced New Canaan away, unfortunately losing 0-3. On Tuesday, boys swimming and diving went up against Sarian. Boys basketball had their home opener against Kobe Cathedral, falling to them 53 60. I'm Brady O'Sullivan, and I'm here with Grace Aubrey. What are your guys' predictions for this basketball season? Um, I think we're going to be a very good team and make it a states. I think we're going to be really good, too. Maybe, like, FCAC, FCAC playoffs. I agree.
I'm here with Jalen. Caitlin, how do you guys think the game is going so far? Not good. It's okay. They need to foul us. What are your guys' predictions for this season? They're going to have a good season. Yeah, I think they're going to do pretty good. Thank you. I'm here with Julia. How do you think the game is going so far? Not too bad. We're losing by three. I thought we'd be doing better, but you know. Who's your favorite player on the team? Rayshawn Dupree. Thank you. On Wednesday, boys and girls hockey had a home doubleheader versus Daniel Hand in Greenwich. Wrestling battled at their home opener against St. Joe's. Girls basketball played at home against Scarsdale on Thursday. Boys basketball plays versus Pomperog away tonight at 7. Tomorrow, boys and girls hockey have another doubleheader. The girls play East Catholic Hoop at 2.30 and the boys play Hamden at 4.30 at home. Wrestling is away at Wilton facing Wilton, New Canaan and North Haven at 9 a.m. Girls basketball is at home at 12.30 playing Norwalk. That's all for this week. Good luck to our athletes in the winter season, and we'll see you next year. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays. Go, go Black Knights. <laughs> for our next segment, we sing 12 Days of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a pony in a pear tree. <laughs> On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four um manga passes. No, that's not right. What is four? On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six straight days of perfect attendance. <laughs> <laughs> On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me uh, a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> no, 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 it's seven. Um, seven, seven, seven times, times a seven. seven. Yeah. Six yeah. keys to like five, five golden, golden rings, five four golden. Four. <laughs> On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids are milking. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Nine ladies dancing. <laughs> On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Ten lords a leaping. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Eleven pipers piping. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Twelve covers dropping. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a drink in a pear tree. <laughs> On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two, two turtle doves and a drink in a pear tree. <laughs> On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two, two turtle doves and a drink in a pear tree. <laughs> On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens. Two, two turtle doves and a drink in a pear tree. <laughs> On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two, two turtle doves and a drink in a pear tree. <laughs> On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens. Two, two turtle and a drink in a pear tree. <laughs> On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven, seven swans swimming. swimming. Six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two, two turtle and a drink in a pear tree. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on the weekly news. My name is Alan Jordan. My name is Lanny Santana. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alan Jordan. I hear um, I'm Leah. Hi. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, Mariah, you know. <laughs>